everyone. Welcome back to Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. My name is Stacy. I have another one of those pages from the Farmer's Market calendar. If you don't have the calendar, you can do this with a free printable that you can find online or um, if you can find any picture really of the red truck, we'll do this nicely. Now, and I'm going to be using some of the Robon stickers from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure how many of those I'm going to need yet. And I'm not sure which one of these signs I'm going to use. This one came from the Dollar Tree. Okay. And this one came from the clearance section at Hobby Lobby. It was a um, wedding piece. And I paid $1.74 for this. So I'll have to get all these stickers off. But I'm not going to use this calendar page as the calendar page. And it's not even going to be fall when I'm done with it. So what I'm going to do, and don't scream, I'm going to cut very, very carefully. I'm going to cut out the red truck. And I'm cutting off the pumpkins. I have a lot of seasonal red truck stuff. I don't have a lot of non-seasonal red truck. So I'm going to... Go ahead and cut this off. I didn't bring them down here with me, but if you haven't been to the Target Dollar Spot, you need to go. They have some really cute little ceramic trucks for, I think they were $3, and they had blue ones and green ones, and I was able to get one of each. It's one of those things where I could have bought them all, but I was trying to be nice. And the bed of the truck is kind of like a little place like to put your rings and stuff. It's not a f wide open bed like on some of them. So, yeah, go check out the dollar, Target Dollar Spot. Open up my frame and I'm going to pull off usually they just slide right off I've used these picture frames for a lot of things I take my putty knife and get off the rest of the glue. Now if you don't have this, there's other things you can do. If you want it to be gum, you can put down scrap of paper. I just had this sign. I thought I'd see if it would work. Yeah. It would look really cute on there, but this part shows and I don't like that so put it on to this one it's not as cute so I'm trying to think do I want to cover this with scrapbook I'll be right back okay so what I've decided to do is to take another piece of a calendar page and cover that like, a, like it's a piece of ribbon. So I like this burlap look on the page that's about the honey. And it's okay because I have a plan where for my honey one that's just going to use the circle. So I'm just cutting by hand, freehanding it, getting it as straight as I can. Okay, and that still leaves this intact. In order to be able to do a project with it i was going to use regular ribbon but it's just too thick to decoupage this over the top of okay so then i've got this and let me get this down in here i'm going to be putting this i got like the wider part of the top straight down on there and then that can go on there. It's not exactly what I would have liked to have done, but to work with what I've got with this frame being pre-printed, 
I think it looks okay. And then I can put my words up on here. Okay. Still a little bit of roughness on it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get my Mod Podge out. I'm not going to worry about coloring the back of my calendar pages. I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. People have been saying that, and I've had a little bit of problem too, with the um, printing on the calendar pages bleeding through, but these are solid enough pieces that I think it'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and coat the entire piece or the entire top of the piece. I'm not going to do the sides. Okay. And I'm going to put this down. And I'm going to line it up on the edge of the printing and use my print of the buffalo check to make sure I get that down straight. Now, I gotta go up a little bit because that's not... I have my little brayer. I'm not worrying about the torn edge here on the side right now. That'll get cut off or sanded off. Cut it off right now. So I'm just laying my scissors right on the edge of the board and going ahead and trimming that. So now it just looks like a piece of ribbon across my sign. There is a big bubble I need to get out. Ouch. and put a coat of Mod Podge over the top of my little ribbon piece. And I'm going to hit it with the heat gun just lightly so that I can work out the bubbles. So I dried this just enough to where it wasn't shiny anymore. If you turn it to the side you can see and let's see if you can even see that bubble. See that bubble right there? Let's see if you can. It's a pretty good sized bubble. So now that my Mod Podge is dry to the touch, I can go ahead and work on those last bubbles before I put my truck on because I want it to be nice and smooth before I put my truck down. Okay, and then here comes the truck. I'm going to go ahead, I could, actually I think maybe I will, I'll just Mod Podge onto the truck. I haven't tried Mod Podging onto the calendar pieces yet, so let's see how it works. Usually I just put it down because they're so thin. to line the wheels up on the bottom stripe and I'm going to push it down with my fingers first. A little wrinkle there. Try to peel that out. I didn't do too shabby. Down there, 
And then I'm going to hit it with my air gun, heat gun again. I'm trying to get this Mod Podge that's up here to dry so that I can get my um, rub on transfers on there. And now I'm trying to think what do I want it to say? Do I want to say farm? I don't really want to say farmhouse welcome because it's not a farmhouse, it's a farm truck. I'm not going to put the last or the top coat of Mod Podge on top of my truck just yet. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit and get my rub on transfers on for the words and then I'll cover the whole thing. It's not bubbling right now for the most part, so I'm just going to kind of roll with that. <laughs> trying to decide do I just want to say welcome or farm fresh or maybe I want to say red truck farms that could do like I said these are rub on transfers from the crafter square section only depending on what you write you'll probably need two packages I have not used these Dollar Tree rub -ons, so I'm hoping that they work good. I'm just going to kind of line them up here and see if I can even make them fit. I can. Okay, so I'm going to start with farms and go backwards. And to put these on, you just need a like a popsicle stick or something um, just to rub on there with. Okay. And I'm going to use the line of my print. To line up my letter. Oop, part of my S came off on my finger. And then you just rub them on. Easy peasy. And then make sure your fingers are clean so you don't end up pulling off the lettering off of there like I did. It's alright, it'll make it look more distressed. And then you pull that off and rub it down. These uh, rub-ons are actually rubbing on very nicely and going on very clean. I'm very happy with them. Now, once you get your rub-ons on, if you do have some little tears and little missing spots like I have and you don't like that, you can totally go back and touch them up with a Sharpie if you mess up like I did. Thing is not my forte today. I've been busy doing other things and the whole weekend ticked by without getting any crafts done. Alright. Now I could write welcome down here or I could just let it go. Another idea I have um, and I don't know if it's going to be I'm going to take this little calendar picture off the back. The one that says locally grown. And I'm going to cut around kind of following the line of the word grown I want to see if I can make it fit on the door 
So I'm trimming as close as I can. Okay. And then I need to make sure that my line across the top is straight. All right. This fits, but I need my line to be a little straighter here. point off and boom locally grown right there all right now I'm just going to round this corner just the tiniest little bit now if you don't want fruits veggies and meats on there you can totally take that part off and just have the locally grown. I think that looks good. Just cutting out the bottom right now. And I'm thinking it could go right there. And then, then there's another um, barn on this other little piece and I'm going to try to cut that out. And this little barn can go here and then that fills in my spaces. Now it looks like I meant to do that. <laughs> you know sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. All right let's take a look at this truck. It looks like it's sticking down really well. So let's go ahead and Mod Podge on the back of my little farm barns. Stick them on there. those up nicely and then a little sign for the truck door Just going to use my fingers to smooth these out as much as possible. Always hold them up to the light um, because when the light hits the bubbles you can see them better. All right I think everything's stuck down so now we just need to mod podge over the top. Again I'm just doing the top. I'm not doing the sides. think I'm going to call it quits with that. Don't always think about having to use those calendar pieces exactly the way that they are done. I think this is really cute. Um, this is matte finish Mod Podge and it will dry. It'll be less shiny once it's completely dry, but I just wanted to be able to work out any bubbles that were going to magically appear because they like to do that. Anyway, I think this is just really cute. Red Truck Farms, I just I used the Autumn Harvest Red Truck, cut off the pumpkins off the back. This strip is from the Honey page of the Farmer's Market Calendar. And these two little barns are from the mini pictures on the back of the calendar. And this sign is from Dollar Tree. And all these things, oh, and the rub on transfers are from Dollar Tree. So this is 100% a Dollar Tree DIY because you can get Mod Podge at Dollar Tree as well. All right, there you have it. My red truck sign made with the farmer's market calendar using two different pages and two different mini pictures from the back of the calendar. 
and some rub on transfers and a sign from Dollar Tree. This is 100% a Dollar Tree DIY. Let me know what you're thinking of this project in the comment section below. Do you like the idea of cutting apart the, the calendar pages or did you just like go, oh no, as soon as I started doing that? Um, if you only have one calendar, perhaps you want to keep them intact. But if you have a couple of calendars, which I do, I think I have three now, uh, you can feel safe about going ahead and giving some giving a try to some of these other ways of doing things. Um, I really love how this turned out. I think this truck is so cute and I just, I wanted a red truck piece that wasn't seasonal. And I think this lends itself to that very nicely and I can keep this up in my farmhouse decor year round. It's probably going to go up on the shelf with the, my little windmill that I made. Um, several videos ago. <laughs> anyway, let me know what you're thinking of this project in the comment section below. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. That really helps my channel to grow. And leave a comment in the comment section. All right, this has been Crafting at Whimsy Wonderland. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you next time.